Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to New York for this. Uh, There's been a lot of talk in the news over the last couple months about the smoking gun murder, the infamous Bonanno-connected gangland slain from 1986 involving a a button guy by the name of Stevie Blue Lacorto. Um, Lacorto now is in the middle of an appeal process, uh, claiming that he had ineffective counsel uh, uh, during his uh, uh, trial for racketeering that included the, the murder count here uh, tied to the smoking gun murder. And uh, Jerry Capace over at Gangland News has been doing a lot of reporting on it. Some of the other uh, major news outlets in uh, New York have touched on it, but nobody's really told the public what the smoking gun murder was like the specifics of it. So I'm going to break it down real quick. It's not that complicated, um, but it it's interesting. So, uh, and then there's some questions of, well, not questions, but some uh, double jeopardy angles here. So uh, S- Stevie Blue uh, was a, a young guy back in 1986 uh, running around with a, a Brooklyn based Bonanno crew was very close to Baldo Amato, um, a guy that was, you know, an infamous uh, member of the Zip faction, uh, never rose above soldier, but was a was a very, very powerful uh, button man, uh, you know, started his career as a, as a bodyguard for Carmine Galante, uh, you know, partners uh, and uh, running buddies with Cesare Bonaventri, part of the assassination of Galante, um, you know, had a had a mob career. Uh, all the way into the 2000s, where he went down with Stevie Blue Lacordo. Uh, but back in 1986, there was the uh, May 9th, 1986 murder of a Bonanno associate named Joe uh, Platia. Uh, and Platia had been uh, buddies, uh, partners in crime with another guy named Bobby Capacio. Capacio was murdered. Um, in late April of 86 and to cover up the tracks and the, the Capacio murder, Lacurto was given the contract on Platia, uh, killed him in the west side of Manhattan on uh, 35th and 10th Avenue that evening of, of May 9th, 1986. They were sitting together in uh, Platia's car and Lacurto pulled out a 38 and uh, unloaded the clip into a uh, Lacurto unloaded the clip into Platia's head, got out of the car, started walking, put the gun in his jacket pocket. Uh, as he had carried out the execution, a cab driver had driven past and saw it and flagged down uh, a cop uh, that was uh, in the neighborhood on the block. And within two or three minutes, Lacurto is... Uh, apprehended by police, and they find literally a smoking gun, uh, the 38 in his jacket pocket. Uh, now he beats the case in state court in, in the 1980s and walks from it, um, returns to the Bonanos, uh, working under a motto, had some ties to the Cafe Giannini crew in Ridgewood, Queens, and uh, eventually goes down with. Baldo Amato in a 2006 case where he's convicted on racketeering, but within the racketeering case, they roll in the the Platia murder um, as a predicate act. So he wasn't charged with the murder, but he was eventually convicted of a racketeering count tied to the murder. And now he's trying to work his way out of that uh, conviction. He's been in uh, he's been locked up now for going on 18 years and is claiming that he got bad advice from counsel related to some of this double jeopardy, uh, questions of double jeopardy. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens within within the court system. I'm doubting he's going he's gonna to have much luck. But, uh, you know, the name Stevie Blue has been back in the headlines. People have been talking about the um, the smoking gun murder. So I wanted to let people know. What happened? Spring of 86, Stevie Blue Lacurto kills Joe Platia, uh, West 35th and 10th uh, Avenue uh, in a parking lot. And within a couple minutes is um, 
arrested for for murder because the police uh, you know happen happenstance based on a, a tip a tipster from a, a, a civilian find a smoking gun from a gangland slain in his uh, pocket but he had been able to dodge uh, you know real accountability for that for 20 years. So uh, we'll keep you updated. That's the story of the smoking gun murder. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm -hmm.